the worst Christmas gift? Probably uh, Dwayne Debman. Definitely Dwayne. Probably O. I think O would get the worst Christmas gift. Okay, it's definitely Max now. Who's the worst? Where do I even start? Because this team sucks right now. It's probably Jimmy Butler because the man's shooting like 8% from three. You know what? I'm going to go with Bam Adebayo because he's supposed to be a max player and he's too scared to shoot the ball. You know, Duncan Robinson because he's also getting paid $90 million to be a three-point specialist. He can't make a freaking shot. The whole team's the worst. Oh, it's, oh, it's who gives the worst Christmas gifts? Uh, I'm going to go with PJ. I want to start this video with one of my all-time favorite quotes from the godfather, Pat Riley. I think everybody needs to get a grip. This stuff is hard, and you got to stay together if you got the guts, and you don't find the first door and run out of it. Boo! You stink! That's y'all, Heat Nation. But everybody just needs to get a grip and relax, okay? The NBA is a long 82-game regular season roller coaster full of ups and downs, okay? I saw someone complain on Heat Twitter the other day saying, oh, I want stability, I want consistency. Have you ever watched sports in your life before, my guy? This is exactly what sports is. You got to take the ups with the downs, okay? Everybody's over here freaking out, but you got to stay together if you have the guts. Now, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's all sunshines and rainbows for the Miami Heat, but I'm also going to tell you to not completely freak out yet. If you look at the contenders this year the golden state warriors at one point lost five straight games from february 27th to march 7th that was part of a span where they lost nine of 11 even currently they've lost four out of their last five games and now that one win was against miami which is still concerning but still I'm just trying to prove my point that every team go through skids. Earlier this year, the Bucks lost five of six games from October 27th to November 11th. The Brooklyn Nets, they lost 11 straight games from January 23rd to February 12th. And again, I don't want to just say take this for what it is because of course there's different circumstances with everything. For a lot of those teams, for example, they're injured, but every team in the league is injured. People even want to say that the Miami Heat is healthy right now, but no. Just because you're getting guys back does not mean that you're healthy. Jimmy Butler very clearly is not healthy. I remember against the Philly game, he he tried to go up to dunk the ball a couple times and he couldn't even get high enough off the ground to dunk the ball. He just had to lay it in. Kayla Marin is questionable almost every single game with his Achilles. Now you just lost Gabe Vincent. It's very clear that Victor Oladipo is not healthy because he kind of sucks right now. So every team is hurt. Every team has different circumstances. The overall point is that at some point, every team will go through some sort of rough patch or a losing streak. Now you might be saying, oh, it's not just the fact that we are on a losing streak. It's the fact that we teams that we lose to without their star players. That happens all the time. Look at the Miami Heat this year. They beat the Milwaukee Bucks without Jimmy and Bam. They beat the Phoenix Suns without Jimmy and Bam. Now, the Suns, they really haven't gone through a rough patch this year, but they still have some bad losses like that loss to the Heat. That's just sports, man. The Heat have just as many crazy wins with all their star guys out as they have losses to teams with their star guys out. Now, when I tell you I am slightly concerned, that did start to arise after the New York Knicks game. We all know what happened in the Golden State Warriors game with a scuffle between Spolstra, Jimmy, and Haslam. I'll beat your ass. I'm gonna beat your ass. Now, my concern came because I said okay that's gonna be their wake-up call it's no big deal the team is brothers you fight with your brothers all the time they gonna bounce back sure enough they were up 17 in the fourth quarter versus the New York Knicks with their star player Julius Randle out mind you Julius Randle is better than prime Chris Bosch don't you ever say something stupid like that again boy and then they blew a 17 point lead in the fourth quarter to the Knicks I said okay as long as they beat the Brooklyn Nets, because that'll be like the first good team we play with their actual stars, I'll be feeling fine. And then we got absolutely pounced by the Brooklyn Nets, which is concerning. But still, I'm not just going to automatically throw away the giant sample size we have previous to that, where the Heat were in first place nearly the entire year, mind you. I'm not just going to ignore all of that for this recent four games and say, oh, we suck now, we have first round exit. Everybody just needs to get a grip. The season is a roller coaster. They still got two weeks to get everything right going into the playoffs. Of course, there's a lot of things they have to fix. One of the main things is their late game execution. I think they're like one and eight in overtime games. The only overtime win that they have is against the Charlotte Hornets. So their fourth quarter late game execution has just been one of their biggest problems, really the whole year, but specifically during the stretch. Other than that, of course, is rebounding and just it's a lot of guys getting cold from three at the same time. Before Gabe Vincent got hurt, he couldn't shoot no more or he was in a cold stretch. Max Struess, he's missed like 18 out of his last 20. <laughs> same with PJ Tucker. So it's a lot of guys getting cold at the same time and a lot of guys also getting banged up. Like Deadman has been pretty terrible, but he had those back spasms. So I don't think he's completely recovered from those. But regardless, we still got two weeks to get everything in order and be happy that this is happening now instead of in the playoffs. I went ahead and looked back at some previous Heat teams and 
2013 championship year, of course, and the year we won a 27 game win streak. They had a span where they lost four or six. In 2014, where we made the NBA finals, they had two spans losing five or six. And in 2020, when we also made the NBA finals, they had a stretch losing seven of nine and seven of 11 to end the season. So even ending the season, they ended on a pretty rough patch, but we're still able to get it together and make the NBA Finals. I've personally seen enough from this Heat team this year to fully believe they have what it takes to be a championship contender. Especially since earlier this year, they had two previous stretches where they lost four or five. Nobody seems to remember that, you know why? because they bounced back. So Heat Twitter needs to relax. Chef Trilly, go ahead and change the name before it's too late. Y'all know Chef Trilly, a uh, Heat Twitter legend. His name used to be uh, The Fun, The Long Shot Podcast when Duncan was playing pretty terrible. But Duncan's actually over 40% from three since 2022. Shout out my boy, Sean Rochester on Heat Twitter. Uh, but he changed his name to The Fund Big Face Coffee. I know he's just joking, but still, Heat Twitter, relax, okay? The upcoming schedule is pretty tough, but that's good because it'll give us a chance to prove ourselves and really feel good going into the playoffs. Our remaining schedule consists of the Sacramento Kings, who we never beat, Boston, who we seem to never beat in the regular season, and they are balling. Chicago, who obviously they're a good team, but we haven't had trouble with them yet. Toronto, who always gives us trouble. And then you got a couple of nice young teams in Charlotte and Atlanta who will be fighting for positioning. And then we play at Orlando, which the Heat never win in either. So it's a tough schedule coming up, but I'm looking forward to the next two weeks going into the playoffs. That's all I want to say. So Heat Nation, get a grip. We gonna be okay, man. We gonna get through this. And when we do, remember that Anthony Donato told y'all first. Other than that, I just want to say thank y'all for joining in the live stream last night we had a little rant session after the brooklyn game people were calling in people were in the chat so i appreciate y'all for doing that it was pretty fun make sure to follow me on twitter to find out when the next one will be all that stuff is down below also please subscribe to the channel to help me chase the dream and if you enjoyed the video hit like if you didn't enjoy the video hit dislike comment down below to tell me i suck because yeah, man, whatever. I don't care. I just want the comments. Any type of interaction helps, man. Other than that, I'm praying that Miami Heat beat the Sacramento Kings on Monday. No, God! That's one of the few games this year I won't be able to watch because I joined a men's adult basketball league and the first game is Monday night. So wish me luck, y'all boys. Are y'all, would y'all be interested in like seeing some highlights from the game? Cause we gonna be filming it and stuff. Uh, so if y'all be interested in like some game vlogs or seeing my highlights or little recaps of those, uh, comment down below to let me know because your boy's a baller. We got a pretty good team with the homies. So I think we're going to be good this year. We'll see how it goes though. I'll see y'all later or not because you may never see me again. But y'all will find out next time. I'll see you. Bye. Yeah, pull up in the city trying to get that dead fast. fast. Do it on my own. I don't need no dead weight. Right. Had to kill him off. Yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown bitch don't offend me. Hmm.